This is Richie Frederick. This is my Algebra 2 Rational Expressions project. I will be doing simplifying rational expressions, I will be multiplying rational expressions, and I will be adding rational expressions. Here's our first problem. In this problem, we're going to be simplifying this rational expression. Alright, so first, I just want to look at the problem, see that the denominator, that can't be uh, uh, simplified anymore, right? So I just add these uh, parentheses outside of them. Now we're going to turn our attention to the numerator. What we need to do is find two numbers that multiply together to get negative 8 and add together to get positive 2. It's going to be 4 and negative 2. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this. So we're going to get x plus 4 and x minus 2. All right, then we're going to rewrite the denominator here. So x minus 2. Okay, now we're going to eliminate the same ones that are within the numerator and the denominator like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply across here. In this case, we can't really multiply anything else, and we're just left with x plus 4. That is our answer. All right, here's our next problem, adding rational expressions. What we need to do is we need to find the least common denominator. Here's how we do that. We basically just write them, take this, and just put this over here, put that over here. Right? So now we're going to have x minus 3 and x minus 2. Right? We're also going to have um, the same thing over here. But what you need to do now is you have to make sure you add these new ones to the numerator also. It's so like over here we already had the x minus 3, now we have to put the x minus 2 up here also. Same so with here, we had the x minus 2 originally, so now we have to put the x minus 3. All right. So now we're going to distribute. I'm just going to do it up here. Okay. What we need to do is we basically just need to make this into one big uh, fraction, right? So these are adding, right? So we basically just add these together, okay? But what for for these for the denominator, you only need to write this once. Now we simplify this. So it'd be, uh, we'd have 5x um, minus 13 Alright, that'd be it. So for our final problem, we're going to be multiplying a rational expression, right? And I forgot the multiplication sign. There we go. All right, so we're going to start here. So you kind of have to imagine there's like a z plus a zero or something here, you know, because we have to find something that multiplies together to get negative four, but adds together to get zero. So what we need to do is we need to do negative two, positive two, right? So we're going to rewrite that. X minus 2, x plus 2, alright, now we get this bottom one here, right, that's going to be x with x minus 2, right, now we got the other side, so we got, um, that would be x, x minus 1, okay, got that, Basically, you're just you're just factoring these, right? Now for this one, you have to get something that multiplies together to get four, but adds together to get four, right? And that'd just be two, two, right? So you get x 
plus 2. Get x plus 2. Here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to eliminate the ones that are the same. Okay. So we get the same ones here. Uh, we got the same ones here. We got the same one here. Believe that be it. Oops. Believe we're good there. So you just multiply across the top here. Okay, top and bottom. Excuse me. And we'd end up with this x minus one with the x plus two. Alright, that's it.